Hello, it's Elena Strombo from SodoTutorials.com. Elena's main game name, and today I'm sitting in Novia outside of the Spectral Foothills. Um, I want to do so, a little bit of tutorial or re-tutorial on mining. Um, over the past couple of releases, they've been updating different mines, and so where we used to go for certain things, we don't go. Um, Serpent Spine had a lot of iron, but that's been redone. It's really hard to go in there for iron. Um, Verdant has had a lot of copper and stuff, and once again, that was redone and just not the place to go. So I want to focus on three major mines that are left in the game at this point and talk about you know where they're at and kind of just briefly touch on them. Not go too far, but I just want to show you where we're at. So when you think about mining, there's, there's four different ores you can go after. You're going to go after iron, copper, gold, and then silver. And it's in that order of value. Iron and copper are pretty close. Gold is worth more. Silver is worth the most, the most on that. So three of the mines definitely has the first three on the top levels, easier levels. So spectral foothills is where we're going to go. I'm sitting in front of We're going to go in for our iron. Um, once we get out of that, we're going to go to graph gem mines, which is the northeast corner, the Drockvald regions, that has copper in there. You go out there for copper and get that. I think you can get down lower and get the silver, but I'm not going to go there for that. There's Elysium, Elysium mines, which is down in this south west corner on the Isle of Elysium in the Twin Foot Hills. That one we go to gold and so if we want gold we go to that on the first level lots of gold and if you go down the second and the third level in there which I'll show that has the silver where you want to go for silver on that. I'm also probably going to show you Crag Foot Hills. It's, a, it's the most difficult mine out of them all but you can get iron and gold in there too and it's just a fun one to do. So this is a little bit of a longer video and I'll be hitting each one. Uh, I think I was going to separate them out I figured I'm just going to do it one and give a nice meaty video on this one. So um, just so you know where we're at. We're right out here. This is Soul Town right over here. The Central Britneys and stuff are right up here. So I'm down here. If you come out of Soul Town, come over Soul's Bridge, you can come to the west. You can make your way here to the Spectral Foothills. That's where we're going to go in to find the Spectral Mines. Once we're done here, I'll show you what that looks like. We're going to go north all the way up to... The um, I think up here is the graph gem mines. So we're going to hit that one and show you the copper and stuff. And then we're going to make our way all the way down here to Elysium and you can pour it into you. You go to Exeter, there's a boat that will take you over here to Xenos and then you can come up here to the foothills where that's at. And then the crack foothills are actually back over by Exeter. They're right here on the map. So it's in that area. So those are four of the four major mines. Just want to hit on and talk about them and then we can go from there. Um, unfortunately, you would think that the lower mines, like iron, would be easier than the next mine, and copper, which would be easier than the next one, which would be the gold and crag. Um, spectral mines, as the entry one for iron, is not easy. It's not easy because, A, it's the undead, it has undead people in there, and there's a lot of aggro on it. So you need to be very careful in this. And if you're an archer and whatever else, you need to make sure you have buffs going up. Fire resistance is important in here. Um, fire spells, things that will affect the undead. So um, let me bring up my deck, explain that and show that. So I've got my major archery stuff here. I've got banish undead. I've got a lot of fire stuff on here. I've got douse to counteract some of the fire stuff when I get lit up. And even got some fire stuff up here. Flaming Fist man, um, and Fire Arrow. These are more area stuff like Immolation, uh, Ring of Fire, Meteor Shower. I don't know if Meteor Shower does a lot for them, but it's sure hell fun to cast. So that's why I have that one on there. Oops, I don't need that. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So we need to go in. We're going to have to make a run through the foothills to get to the mine. I'll show you how to get there on that. I'll bring up the map for that. And I need to eat my uh, food. I think I have uh, Bear and Wolf Surprise as my choice for today. If I eat both of them, one gives you a Strength buff, one gives you a Dexterity buff. So, ooh, I'm looking at the stream right now. Looks kind of uh, interesting. Alright, need to set up. My face is going low on the uh, on the bar. It looks like I'm talking, eating the bar with my mouth there. So, um, Okay, so, bring up the map in here. And if you don't know, it's the M key. So, come in. What we need to do is take a run through here. We basically need to get here. So either go right or left and follow it around. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna turn left. 
yeah, I'm going to turn left on that. And I'm going to go this way and around and over here. Don't think that's an entrance, a little pass-through. So, we'll get there. Um, let's get my food eaten. Nom, nom, nom. Bear surprise. I forgot to go to devotionals and get my buffs. Eh, what can I do? You know what? I think I'm actually, I was talking about making this a full length, big meaty video. I'm actually think I'm going to split this up because um, I, if I have to get up to graph gem mines after this, I have to go through Vobin Pass. And people have been complaining about that. They are always dying going through there. Now you may die, but I want to show them the most direct route I've found on there. So I want to do a video on that one. I want to take advantage of me going from here up there. So I'm going to split these up so I do that. So I'm going to stop this one. I'll do a little play series. I'll, I'll do a playlist on YouTube that's going to be the three, you know, the three or four mining spots. And I'll just have a series of videos on that and link them together. So um, still same effect, um, but uh, I'll get to throw in that extra video on Bob and Pass. So, all right. So I've got my food eaten. As I said, you want to come in, you want to go to your left. Um, I've gotten very used to not having a light spell up because I've been in some PvP zones and you don't want to do that. It's like um, it's like in Hunger Games. Don't start a fire. You're gonna get a uh, kill. There's an obsidian. There's a couple of obsidian wolves here. It's good for the obsidian um, carcass if you can get those off them. You need to make those for the bear and wolf surprise. So it's like one or two here. There's a zombie buddy. I'm gonna skip right past him. There's our cartographer, Adamor, Fairhaven. There's an uh, Evan fighter. There's a little pass through there. Let me go past it. This is that other obsidian wolf. Get myself in running mode. And then once you go past that little entrance on the left, then you come over here and um, Iron Maiden, Iron Marshal. Oh, okay. And this is the entrance. So we'll come in here. The mines are instant, so I'm not going to be with anybody else unless you start up a party and you bring people in together. Um, that won't happen, so we'll see. So, and guys, if you're watching there on stream, I'm actually recording live tutorial videos. I'm recording them live, so that's why I'm kind of doing a tutorial mode here. So, all right, so here we are in the mine. First thing, let's get Strength of Earth up. That won't, that'll help. Celestial Blessing helps on some of the magic effects or damage being done. I will take my Phoenix, which I pulled off earlier to cast my Air Elemental. So I'll put him back down here. Fire Chicken. We'll give number six there a hit. Oh. And there he is. Pollo Strombo. So Chicken Strombo. All right. Um, got my bow, my stuff out here. All right, so when you come in, there is usually one hanging around when you come in. So just see if you can get him to hit on you and take care of him. Now, this is just an, ar uh, an archer, so it's not that bad. Now, my bird went over there. He's getting shot at from someone else there. Ooh. All right, so I got another guy here. So I'm going to see if I can get around the corner. It's escape. There's two here today, which is fine. I'm going to cast Douse on me, just in case. Now you can tell up there in my damage, I'm only at 505 out of 525. So I'm doing pretty good at hanging on to these. Now of course, I've got some decent armor on. But more importantly, um, let's cast the chicken over here so he gets pulled away from that guy. So I'm going to pull him over there and cast him here. So, and he's all brand new and not dead. <laughs> it's mean. I just stole the guy's uh, kill. All right, so that guy wants a piece, so we'll take care of him. So, Douse is definitely helping out with some of the fire stuff. Now I've got a couple other spells on here, like Flurry. So let's bring up the map. I'm really going to stick only in level one right now. So I'm basically in this area. Once you get here a little bit more advanced, there's stuff not dealing with that. I really just focus in here for iron, and that's why I'm here. 
So I'm going to come around here and I want to make my way through here, round up this room. Let's just a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit these. I'm going to come around here. Oh, I'm up here. Make my way down this wall over here. Over here, there is a chest here. You can get a dragon bone thrown, so I'll throw that one. Um, thank you, Joe Zidaric, for the uh, for the follow on there. Thank you. Um, so get show you the dragon bone uh, thrown, and then we'll hit these and come back out. So I'll do one pass on it. Um, just so you know that if you depending on how fast you kill them, they will respawn, and they can um, hit on you pretty hard. So I'm gonna quickly get over to this other wall here. So if I have anybody to hit, I'll get hit. So here's one piece right, right here. So I'll go ahead and take that. Don't forget, put away your weapon. Um, I'm at full, full, full um, health and stuff, so I don't need to. So this is a pure iron mine. So if you need iron, and iron's, you know, it's needed. It's definitely, it's not the sexiest of things, but it's needed for things to make, to make stuff. So you need to get that. Also, you can get, I don't know if it's tin tungsten or the other one, um, tin tungsten and oh, I forget the third one on there. I'll see it when it comes up on here. You can get one of the two specialty metals as well. So those are worth money. So, um, mining it, excuse me. Not letting me mind. Ooh, I got a disconnect. There you go. That was a network connectivity to the server. So I don't know why that happened, but oh well. Now I do have um surveying on so you can see these things off in the distance here, the sparkles happening. So it definitely helps out with, with iron because it just blends into the, the rock on here. So I'm a fan of it. Other people aren't. Too bad. So, there are really three points you have to worry about the skeletons. Here, coming into the entrance into the next room, and then back on the back side of that room. Nickel, that's the other one. And I just got one. So yeah, those things are worth some money. If you're trying to figure out what those are, you, I think it's uh, on the Sodus Tutorials site, sodustutorials.com. I have a links page. I think I have a link to the Britannia Mining Company web, website. I think it's bmcguild.com. Enjin.com slash price guide. They've got a really good price guide out there. So you'll see that. And I use that a lot to price out my items. Um, it's what their set prices for buying and selling stuff is. So I price around those. Um, typically a little bit less. I want to beat them out. But um, give you a good price, especially on those things like tin, nickel, and tungsten. Tin, nickel, and tungsten. All right. So. I got a tungsten there. So I guess you get um, tin, or nickel and tungsten, not tin. Tin is the one that's worth a lot right now. Now I may pick up a dude from this other room here in a second. We'll see how much iron I can get on one pass of this mine. So going around it once and coming out. There's another one there. Um, I'm not using a obsidian potion, which increases your meticulous on these. That's okay, this is kind of just the purest. I have my own, uh, pretty high on my meticulous, so I still get a couple of those. All right, let's see, let's see if we can get in and what do we got here? I don't see anybody. I'll take this one. So I'm gonna go down that right path. I don't know if my camera switched right now. I'm gonna go down to the, behind my character to the right. Let's see what it looks like on there. Oh, I'm hunching again. I gotta move that, that box on here. It drives me nuts. The sound is good, but I just have the box is just too high. I just make get rid of it all together. Oh, I got a nickel and a tungsten on that. Sweet. And as soon as you grab them up, back behind in that area, straight behind me, there's a couple of dudes. Um, if I grab aggro um, on three or more, then it gets a little, little salty. But I still have my strength to earth up. I'm gonna put up that douse right now while I'm not being attacked by anything. See if I can highlight, can't see anybody. Hmm. Where is he at? Can't see him. 
There I go, ducking down again on the video. My light spell went away again. Meticulous too. Deuce. I got another nickel and tungsten. Not bad. Fire spell's been all screwed up here. Still don't have anybody on me. This is good. You see it's a little bit um higher. I wonder. I'm gonna try and move the camera here midstream. Let's see. You got a close up of me. Ah! I look all dorky there. Super dark. All right, let's see now. I'm gonna slow down a little bit. I gotta wait for the delay on. Better. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm on. There's one. Now see, I get one. And I got another one on the let's get emulation up. Oh uh, now see here they all come. Now they're beating on me pretty good, so let's get this guy. Once I get one out of the way, then I'm okay. A little bit of banish undead. Punch! And I'm not doing any healing right now. Okay, so then I got this. Is there any other one? I think that's it. Sweet. I'm going to leave the bodies on here or something on the bodies. I'll take the gold and the war hammer. Good for scrap. Nice. I should have healed up. I didn't. And that was not a smart move. Before I... Um... Right, he's gone. Let's get rid of this guy. Get some defensive spells up. The problem is I'm low on... I may die on this. No! I'm gonna die. Yeah. Crap. I just didn't heal up before I went. I just completely forgot to more focus on the video. So let's go back off to the beginning here. There's an Ankh in the beginning. You're going to die in here a couple of times. Um, that's your super player. Uh, and if you are a super player, then you're not going to be uh, watch, probably watching this video. You probably know where this mine is anyway, so this is fine. I may have to re-kill these guys up there. They may have to respawn. I won't pick up any ore. So we'll put that on as a uh, what not to do. If you get done fighting, don't forget to re res up. I'm low on regs. Uh, I'm not low on something. That's oh, good that I'm going to do a break on the video, so I'm going to have to go get those. I hear someone mad at me. Archers are not bad to run up to. One, I can get off a, I can get off a punch on them. Second thing is, oh, this guy's a fun one. Don't tell me I'm gonna get myself caught up on here. Yeah, this is gonna get meaty real fast. So I'm gonna. Have to bug out real fast because I've got a bunch of aggro on me which I can't handle right now so okay so they're bugged out not bad hey get out of here are you kidding me easy bug out right there 
So back in the beginning, remember I said not the easiest of mines in the aggro is what's going to kill you. So I tried to get that one guy and also I had four or five and just not set up to, to handle that one yet. So yeah, this is one you definitely want to be careful. You want to make sure you're picking them off if you're solo. Um, if you've got a really built out character and really good buffs, fire resistance stuff, you're, you're probably going to be a, you're going to be okay with it. But on um, newer characters, just have a lot of trouble. It seems to always have trouble with the undead. And um, I get that a lot too. Um, I kind of like, I love going in here and I hate going in here at the same time. Does that make sense? All right, so let's get ourselves built right for this. Uh, no, they may be, I hope he's not behind me. So I'm out of Phoenix because it's six sixes. Six, six, six. Let's get my uh, Celestial up, get my Strength of Earth up. Those guys are all back in the room over there, which is fine. Let's get that light spell back up so I can see them. There's one guy there. Archers are fine. It's when those footmen come. Man, they beat on you a bit. And then you're getting beat on by them. And at the same time... I didn't pick this room. I picked this guy out. Pick him back up. I'm only going to pick up on the wall where I did. I want to get a pretty good accurate count on the uh, on how much iron I can get out of here. So no potions. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Another nickel. So here's one here. So there's a couple around the inner ones. As well, most of the other mines, you've only worked the outer walls. Oops, there's one. Ah, uh, sulfurous ash that I'm out of. That means I'm like down ring of fire and... Let me get rid of this guy. Come on. Alright. Bow away. Gotta be sure I heal up this... Ah, uh, don't run around. I'm going to get that piece there, too. Yeah, with the bear and wolf surprise, both running on there, I'll get a pretty good recovery rate. I think it's like for four hours, too, so I don't have to really heal up. There aren't any other... I'm not going to run into more guys here. Here it is. Hey, there. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, uh, thanks, uh, Core. I see a Core actually popped on some viewers over here. Thank you. You know, he's been up for a bit, so that's off to Core. Iron, iron, nothing exotic. Let's take this guy. Now, you can loot while you're here. I just I said I'm leaving stuff on, so I don't trying to control the respawn right now on them. There's the gold. Oops. Take that. Another big one here. Huge one. It's a big rock. Yeah, I said the, um, what do you call it? The surveying that makes it all glowing sparkly. You can see the gold and the copper because it has colorations in it, but these sometimes these guys are um just a pain to see and you can miss them very easily if you're just running by them I always to look back to check and sometimes they put stuff up in the air so just you know we are back on we came in we went around here died 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 whatever i'm all the way down let me get that out of the way back over here and i'm now coming around i want to go hit this wall and i want to come out and just see what that one circle of uh, one loop of this place is uh, doing for me. So nothing here. Make sure not I got that one. Free rope. Take it. Take it. Um, banners and stuff. Uh, oh, there's one. See, there's one like hidden right there. Now, and there's one right over there. 
Now, around this little cart is actually, or this little stopper, is actually where the chest is. You can see it right there. So, a couple of epic leather pieces and the dragon bone throne. So, uh, people sell them. I've seen them for ridiculous prices. I sell them for about 500, 400, 500 gold. Now, that's just a neat decoration. People put them in their basements or whatnot. Or it's a cool looking thing, but it's not rare. There's another place you can get them easy. So here, or in the ruins of Ravenmore, down in the Lich Room. Ooh, meticulous three. Let's get that one here. So here's my epic pieces, which I'll scrap. They're not worth much. And the Dragon Bone Throne. It's right there. Don't forget that piece. Now we can come around, take this guy. Don't forget there's one little guy there as well. And then, that was fast. That is considered a critical hit. But when you're doing crafting, when you also just bend down and go. Tungsten and some iron. So I'll go back through here. I have a free rope. Nothing over here. I don't see anything on the wall. Here's a big one. There's one on the ground there. Now, if you do, um, you don't have, I have all prosperity tools, so I don't run out. But if you do run out in the mine mines, there's always a pickaxe laying around. So if you do break one, don't have one, you can usually find one on the floor on the mine. Like right here, here's a pickaxe. So. And don't forget to break the crates. Some gold, some scrap. I may get a respawn up there. With some of the baddies. How am I doing? Earth, blessings on. Still got stat lossy thingy. Meticulous two. Alright. Two irons. I heard somebody. Oh shoot, here he is. Whack me. I can't even cast immolation right now because um, I ran out of ash. I didn't check my rags. Tip. Make sure you check the hit food. Arrows, regs, put douse up just in case. There it goes. Now, this guy's under cover, he's got cover, so let's. We'll make sure we'll do that. Alright, so that's done. Any more iron here? I don't think so. Pull away my thing so I can get healed up. Oh, there's one little piece right there. And get that one done. Mm -mm -mm. Wood scrap and some gold in the sack. Metal scrap. I'll take the book for a decoration. So, barrels. Which ones can you break? Which ones you can't? The ones with metal rings, you can't. The ones with wooden rings, you can break. And you'll get a cursor on them. Some gold and some metal scrap. Here's some more iron up here. You can see that one in the distant clone. That's from surveying. Anything good on you? Let's hope he has some sulfurous ash. But no. The mage is casting fire spells but has no ash. Let's see. Nickel on that one. Anything else I can see? I think that's it on this wall, so I'll do the back out on the one wall. I should grab that one too. I can't resist it, I have to get it. Ooh, meticulous three. Four! Come on, go for five. That's right, four ore and one tungsten. Nice hit. You feel proud when you get those. I'll leave that one there. 
Um, Trulu. See anybody? I don't see anybody. Now out of here, I just go to that post around and out. So if there's anybody in here, that's okay. I'm just going to run my way through it. I'm not going to have to kill them. I'm only doing one loop. Oh, there's one right here. I didn't get on the way. Ah, you're here. Hello, creep. Take all yours right now because well because I can't no one else coming after me good all right let's get our way through this and back up and out now I do want to point something out there is a little crevice here that takes you to level the other bigger levels. A lot more stuff, less stuff. If you make your way over here, go across this bridge, you go all the way up here past these guys, there's ghosts and whatnot. Over here, you can go all the way up here. And then there's Dark Archilipin of Death and Destruction. The Death Bunny's there. And uh, he'll basically, he'll, he come up here, he'll kick your ass. He kicks my ass. I mean, literally. It's like a 11,000 hit point bunny, so. Um, you have to get a special quest item to, to beat on him, but he's, uh, he's a monster. He literally is the death bunny. Oh, shoot, they're all here. That's why. So I died there. Hey! Um, when I died, they stayed there. Usually they go back to where they're gonna, where they spawned out, but they stayed there. That actually worked out in advance for me. So, cool. So that last death was useful. So, let's get out of here, and I'm gonna pop out. I think it's, I'm safe in the zone right here for right now. Let's see what it is, and I'll wrap up this video. I'm going to switch and go show Bob and Pass and record that video. And then I'm going to go to Graph Gem Mines and show that one. And then I'll do Elysium and Craig. So it's just uh, that'll get me five of the videos out, and I'll just link them out. So, how do we do on the iron? Let's see on the resources. So, particularly on one round, we got 44 iron ore. So you can do two rounds and get near to 100. Which is pretty decent. So I said irons are is useful. You need to get that. More importantly, I pick up six tungsten and eleven nickel. Now I'm going to let's bring that up. Uh, give me a second here, and I'm going to add in a screen capture. All right, so it's there. Sorry about the default page there. Who's that? That's some big eyes. Um, BMC Guild. E N J I N. Dot com slash price guide. Tungsten and nickel. What are those going at? So this price guide is fantastic. Good job, Britannia Mining Company. Um, things, general prices for these kind of things, um, regular materials and stuff. Beetle carapaces, you know, you see those as a rare to get what the woods are running for. So here's uh, nickel is running at 80 apiece. So I got 80 apiece, so 10 of them, 800 worth on the nickel. And then on tungsten, I've got 65 apiece, a little bit lower. So that's about a thousand gold pieces in just specialty metals on there. Outside of iron, which is going for 45 apiece on there. So not that bad. So you definitely want to get it's even if you're not looking for iron and you need those other pieces, then it's definitely so worth it to go out there and get. So all right, so let me get back to here. And we can kill this window. Alright. And then I can kill this. So and let's run our way out. Um, I'll do the exit from here. So alright. So that's it. So first video on the remix redoing of the mining series just to adjust for the new and different mines out there. We're in Spectral Foothills. 
which is um, you go past Soul Town over Soul's Bridge and you go to the east into the mountains there. You go into the Spectral Foothills and you go to the Spectral Mines in here. This is all iron in that mine, primarily in there. Lots of undead, so get fire spells and get prepped to hand at. There are mages and archers that will beat on you while the footmen come in and do it too. Saw me die a couple of times in there. Um, just unprepared, especially since I ran out of sulfurous ash as well. Um, but this is place you want to come for for iron. Uh, one loop around, I made about 44. You know, it's just say 40 to be safe. So if you do uh, two loops or three loops, you can definitely go around and get 100 on that. And whatever, it's a pretty good experience on that as well. You're going to get from those. So, um, yeah, it's um, definitely, um, this is the place to go for iron. So this is part one in the series. Next one will be Graph Gem, where I'll talk about copper. And then the third one is going to be Elysium, where I'll talk about gold and silver. And then is it crag foothills the crag mines which are just fun because there's just a lot of death and destruction in there um i'll have to make sure i get some sulfurous ass before i go back there so that's it if you have any comments throw them on the video thumbs up or thumbs down um and this is elena strombo from sodatutorials.com at the end here you can see a video pop up it's the previous video in the series below that it's going to be a link to shows a picture a link to the sodatutorials.com website what I'm up to, what I'm doing, what I will be doing, that kind of fun stuff. And you see a picture of me in the fairy wings beside that. If you're liking the content on the channel, please go ahead and click on that and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Take care. Have a good one.